food is the ingredient that brings us together. Today we're going to be taking you to uh, Sweets and Beans in uh, Burnaby on Kingsway, close to uh, Royal Oak. So they serve uh, desserts as well as uh, breakfast and lunch items. So they got sandwiches, pizzas, as well as other desserts. So they're just in the corner of Kingsway and Royal Oak, right across the 7-Eleven and right beside basically the uh, Boba Boy. So let's go inside and see what uh, they have for us to try today. The cafe is uh, beautiful. They have uh, lots of uh, nice murals on the wall, a lot of uh, open space. So it's, uh, it's great for uh, studying, hanging out, or just grabbing a coffee. The back in the kitchen with Eric, yeah, you're gonna Eric. make which pizza? Gorgonzola pizza. Gorgonzola pizza. Okay. okay. So these are just some of the process he's gonna go through. Yeah. This is basically a cheese pizza, uh, but they actually serve it with honey, so you could have it as a dessert. And they have topped it with a little bit of, I believe it's parsley, and also uh, fried almonds. So let's take a look. It's really crispy, it's thin. Thin pizzas are my favorite. And look at the amount of cheese. So they have put a generous amount of cheese there. You got crispy almonds, and here's the honey. So let's give it a try with the honey and see how it is. Mm. That's really good. You got a little bit of the saltiness that you get from the cheese, the crunchiness from the fried almonds, and then the sweetness from the honey. You can taste the honey and it's actually pure because of you, you, you taste the honey itself. So it's really, really delicious. Let's get another bite with the honey. Mm. Really, really good. Now we're going to make the salmon routine yes, without the uh, bacon. Add, uh, onion and garlic. Onion, garlic. Pepper. 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 Pepper.
Okay, so Jackie my life for it. And the cherry tomato. Cherry tomato. Chicken stuff is okay. Or no, just only vegetables. Yes. Yeah. So with the actual dish, uh, they have chicken stock, but for us, they're going to be making it with uh, vegetable stock. Ah, okay. When you come as well, you can ask for the vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. Okay. Let's just got the salmon cooking. Yeah. Salmon is beautiful, nice golden brown. Some more black pepper and Himalayan salt. Yep. Baby, uh, Kitchen towel don't do. Really good. Where did see? Got reddish for garnish. Yeah. Oh, my mom. And some lemon.
So here we have the pasta, as you guys saw, basically the base was the um, onion, garlic, a little bit of oil, then we got the pasta, the cherry tomatoes, and then the chef cooked the, the salmon, and then we topped that with some arugula, as well as radish, a uh, piece of lemon, um, and uh, some cheese that they grated. So let's give it a try. You can see the, the sauce, basically really uh, tomatoey. And the, the, the salmon is cooked perfectly. So grab that salmon there. It's crispy. But yet it's tender still inside. So we'll take a little bit of the, the pasta with it too. And the arugula. It's really cheesy also. Give it a try and see how it is. That's really good. The skin of the salmon is crispy, yet the inside is soft. The sauce is tomatoey, cheesy. As you can see, when you take the pasta, uh, the cheese basically shrinks. It's really good. The pasta is cooked really nicely, it's crunchy, it's not too soft. It goes really well with the salmon. So we have the uh, red, red uh, velvet here. And, and that's uh, the Oreo New York cheesecake. Oreo New York cheesecake. Um, Our cheesecakes are yeah. made. Well, that's awesome. We got here the red velvet. Let's try this. Oh wow, look how layered it is. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow. It's really rich, creamy. The cake has a really good texture. Oh, that's delicious. Let's try the cheesecake. This is um, in-house. They make it themselves. Um, a little bit of like a citrusy flavor to it. Some caramel, but it's really good. Delicious. Overall, we had a great experience. The staff were really nice and accommodating, uh, especially when we told them that we don't uh, eat pork. Uh, they actually uh, suggested uh, to us uh, dishes that didn't have them uh, and also ensured that they uh, use different uh, uh, pans and also utensils so there's no cross-contamination uh, which is nice to see uh, as well the inside the restaurant is clean and quiet um, so it, it's great that you can actually enjoy a meal or have a coffee uh, without the chaos of uh, some other restaurants so uh, a really nice uh, location uh, and uh, we'd love to uh, visit them again to try some of their uh, uh, in-store made uh, desserts uh, such as the uh, um, cheesecake that we uh, reviewed. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and we would love to hear your uh, comments so make sure to leave that in the comment section uh, below and don't forget to subscribe.